All right, good morning, Rocketeers. This is Miss Young again. I'm so excited to be back on this Tuesday in March. It's literally flying by, only a week left till April. It's exciting. So today, friends, your materials, you need your reading buddy, a pen, and a paper. Now, the reason why is that at the end, you guys are gonna get to write on a piece of paper all of the thinking jobs. So today, before we start reading, we are gonna ground ourselves in our three big questions. Our first question is, what do I already know about sharks? So guess what, friends? We're gonna be reading this new text all about sharks. And our second question is going to be, what did I learn about sharks? And then our third question is going to be, what do I wonder about sharks now? So as you can see, we're going to start from what we already know to learning something and then ending with what we're still wondering about. Now, we see that we have this text and we're not sure what genre it might be. So that means that we might need to take a genre walk. So I want you to grab your reading buddy, make sure you have it, and we're going to take our genre walk today. Now, when we take our, our genre up, we are thinking about what text features do I know go with each genre? So I want you to whisper to your reading buddy, what, what text features go with fiction? Ready, set, whisper. Ooh, I see friends are whispering. What genre, what text features go with fiction? Hmm. And we're back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and zero. If you said dialogue and written um, pictures, you are absolutely right. That is what goes with fiction. Now for poetry, what do you think about our, our text features for poetry? I want you to whisper to your reading buddy again about what are the text features for poetry. Ready, set, go. Oh, I see friends whispering about what they know about poetry, what they're gonna be looking for. Ooh. And we're back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. If you said that they have stanzas and they might not go all the way across the page, you are absolutely right. Or they might even be in a pattern. That is the text features for poetry. And now our last one is informational. Now, I should see so many friends whispering to their reading buddies because we have been doing informational so much lately if we think back to our other videos. So what are our text features for informational texts? Ready, set, whisper to your reading buddy. All right, friends, we're back. Now, if you said that text features, diagrams with labels, real photographs, you're absolutely correct. Those are our, our genre frames for informational. Now, we're about to take our text fe feature walk. Are y'all ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Oh, I'm looking for those thumbs up. I don't have 100%. Awesome. Okay. Now, when I look to the cover, I see that there's a real photograph. Now, a real photograph means it's actually taken by a camera. So that has me thinking about what genre do I think it might be? Hmm. I see we have the title page. And this time it's a, a picture that's, that is made by a pencil, not a, not a camera. So that has me thinking. Now, when I open up to this page, I again see a picture that, that's drawn by a pencil. And I'm still wondering what genre do I think it's gonna be? Because I remember that fiction has um, pictures that are drawn by a pencil. Now, when I keep on turning the page, eventually I get to this page. Now, this page is the biggest clue of what genre it's going to be. So I see that there are pictures of sharks in diagrams. Wow, and I even see a label. So that tells me that it's going to be nonfiction, which means informational, because I saw a real photograph on the front as well as seeing diagrams and labels. So I know that this genre is informational. All right, friends, now that we know that this genre is informational, we have to think about what do I already know about sharks? I want you to comment below about what do I already know about sharks? Ready, set, comment. You have 20 seconds. What do I already know about sharks?
Take five more seconds to comment. Four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, now I did this too. So I, I wrote that I already know about sharks. It's that I know that sharks live in the ocean. And then I also learned in the past about a certain kind of shark. So I said that sharks live in the ocean. Great white sharks are dangerous and scientists study them. Those are three things that I already know about sharks. Now, as we read today, we are going to think about our genre frames so that we can answer our second question, which is what did I learn about sharks? So we know that for informational, our genre frames are what is the topic, what is the teach me, and what is the point of view? So as we read, we want to keep those locked in our brain so that we know and can understand the text. Can we lock that in our brain right now? Click, click. All right, friends, we're ready to go. This book is called Hungry, Hungry Sharks. By Joanna Cole. Millions and millions of years ago, the earth did not look the way it does now. Strange looking plants grew in swamps. Reptiles with wings flew in the air. Everywhere on land were dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Out at sea, there were strange creatures too. Some looked like dragons, some looked like fish. This big fish could swim very fast. It had sharp teeth and a big fin on its back. What kind of fish was this? A shark. There are no more dinosaurs left on Earth, but there are still plenty of sharks. Today, there are more than 300 kinds of sharks. I'm gonna let you zoom in and take 10 seconds and pick out your favorite one. Point to the screen, pick out your favorite one. Oh, I see some friends are pointing to the screen, picking out their favorite one. Awesome. Now, this one is the tiger shark. This is the angel shark, the thresher, the basking shark, the black-tipped reef shark, the sand shark, the oceanic white-tipped shark, and the port jackson shark. So that tells me that there's more than one type of shark, and I did not know that. I just knew about the great white. Not all sharks are big. Many, many kinds are less than three feet long. The dwarf shark is no bigger than your hand. The small carpet shark lies on the ocean floor like a rug. The leopard shark has spots. It grows to be about four feet long. Wow. What did you learn on this page? I want you to whisper to your reading buddy. Ready, set, whisper. All right, and we're back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So friends, I learned that, that the small carpet shark lies on the floor like a rug. And that was interesting to me because I got a good mental movie. The biggest shark is the whale shark. It is longer than, than a bus. The whale shark has 3,000 teeth, but it will never bite you. It eats only tiny shrimp and fish. The whale shark is very gentle. A diver can hitch a ride on its back. So friends, what did you learn about the size of sharks? Are they the same? Are they different? Please whisper to your reading buddy. Ready, set, whisper. And we're back in three, two, one, and zero. I learned that not all sharks are the same size. And I thought that that's interesting because I only knew about the great white. These are blue sharks. They are far out at sea hunting for food. Suddenly, they pick up the smell of blood. The sharks speed up. They shoot through the water like torpedoes. In a few minutes, 
they find a dead whale. The blue sharks tear off big chunks of white meat. Now the water is full of biting sharks. If one shark gets, gets hurt, the others turn onto it. They will eat the shark too. In a short time, the whale is all gone. The sharks swim away. Nothing is left. Nothing but bones. Blue sharks are called the wolves of the sea. This is because they stay together in packs. Blue sharks often swim after a ship for days. A long time ago, sailors thought this meant that someone was going to die. Why do blue sharks really follow ships? The sharks come because of noises from the ship. Then they stay to eat garbage that is thrown into the water. The most dangerous shark in the sea is the great white shark. It is named after its white belly. The teeth of the great white shark are big and sharp, very, very sharp. It can eat a whole seal in one bite. The great white shark is the size of a speedboat. This great white shark has just had babies. Most fish lay eggs, but most sharks do not. Their babies are born alive. A baby shark is called a pup. The pup of the great white shark is almost the size of a man. As soon as they are born, the pups go their own way. It is not safe to stay near a hungry mother. All right, friends. Now this time, I want you to jot on your paper. What did you learn about the great white sharks here? Ready, set, jot. I see so many friends are jotting. Looking for 100%. What did you learn? Please jot on your writing paper. And we're back in 10, in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. All right, friends, we're actually not going to finish this book yet today. We're going to get to finish it tomorrow. So we're going to stop here. Now, on your writing paper, we're able to fill out two of our thinking jobs, which is the topic and the teach me. So as the last thing that we're gonna do today before we go to our wonderings is finish our thinking jobs. So now friends, on your writing paper, you are going to write the topic and the teach me so far. Ready, set, write. Ooh, I see friends are starting to jot about what's the topic and the teach me. I'm looking for 100%, I know you can do it. And we're back in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, friends, now that you've jotted your topic and your teach me, the last thing that you have to do is comment below. What are you wondering about that maybe could be answered tomorrow? What are you left wondering about sharks? Please comment below. Ooh, I see some comments right away. Now you can now stop the video and then do your comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow and we can finish learning all about sharks. Bye friends.